What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another training guide. This is in the ultimate training guide for players playlist. So check out any of those videos. We do standard players, epic players, legends, featured players, everything that you could possibly want. Club packs, national team packs, the free players in the eFootball Point store, everything. So check out some of those other videos if you want to. There's a lot of videos in this playlist, the ultimate training guide playlist. So Moving on, we have got Stevie G. Now, every week, new players come out and we do training guides. We give you two versions of them, depending on your play style, depending on the play style of the actual player, such as Stevie G here, which is a box-to-box -box center midfielder. But he's got a couple of limitations, I think, in terms of his player skills and in terms of his stat breakdown, right? So, when you have played with a lot of similar box-to-box -box players, such as Goretzka or somebody like that, you know what you're going to be getting from Stevie G based on his range and variety of stats, player skills, and his motion, like how his actual player ID kicks in, even though the player ID in eFootball 23 is nowhere near the level it was in Pez and the Pez franchise, it still is prevalent in a lot of uh, similar animations and motions that you get, especially when you have a mixture of skills, stats, and the player's body uh, weight and height, right? So moving on, we have got a box-to-box -box Stevie G, center midfielder, 85 overall. He goes to a 95, 96 overall. You can go higher than that if you want to get the max overall for him. But a couple of downsides to this card, in my opinion, as a center midfielder, right? He doesn't have any dribbling or any defensive player skills. What does that mean? Well, that means that you're going to have to use him as kind of an attack and base center midfielder. And what I mean by attacking is you're going to have to like manually kind of pass the ball forward rather than dribble the ball forward. Now we can train him up a bit and we will show you the two versions of him. But defensively, you are going to be lacking a little bit because of the lack of player skills. He doesn't have interception. He doesn't have blocker. He doesn't. He does have fighting spirit, but he doesn't have man marking or any of those um, sliding tackle. Um, he's more of a kind of um, a box to box with shooting, right? I definitely think if you are using Stevie G, you need to be doing stunning passes and stunning shots, which mean you need to get space on the ball. Because he doesn't have high tight possession or high balance, you, you, you can't really be caught in possession with this card, right? So we are going to take a look firstly at his offensive build here. All right, so with this Steven Gerrard, I think it's suited to players that like to play a little bit of possession and don't really need him to defend at all, right? If you're playing a DMF anchorman and you're playing a CMF, that is kind of like if you're playing a 4-4-2, right? And you're playing a DMF and an AMF. I don't think that, um, or I think that this Gerrard could be good because he's a 97 overall across the middle of the pitch, CMF and AMF, right? If you're using him as somebody that gets a lot of ball in the middle of the midfield um, and is driving forward with the ball, similar to how he played in real life, I think this is probably the best version of him that you can get. Now you can play around depending on how good you are of a player right and there is no one size fits all when you're training cards because obviously there's a, a lot of different factors and a lot of it is defined by who else you have in your squad right but i would definitely only be playing this steven jared if i had very very solid defensive cover for him because he is going to push forward quite a bit with the way we've trained him up here because of his dexterity which is going to raise his offensive awareness to 82 which is quite high um of a discrepancy there between that and his defensive awareness but we also have maxed out his stamina, speed, acceleration, low pass, dribbling type possession and ball control to ridiculous levels for a CMF, right? But as I said, I'd only be playing this version of Steven Jared if you're not worried about him defending for you at all. If you don't want a box-to-box -box kind of all-rounder covering every blade of grass. Me personally, I like to use kind of a complete midfielder for my center midfielder role. That's able to pass, shoot, defend, and have a bit of speed about him. So I don't know would Gerard be for me because I would prefer Goretzka or I prefer Vieira. But I do think that this Gerard is a beast going forward. And especially if you're able to shoot a couple of stunning shots or mix it up with stunning passes, he could be a monster for you. And there is the training guide for that offensive version of him. Now, if you're looking for a defensive build, yes, we have maxed out his defending with a bit of overkill. 13 stat points in two uh, defending and that's going to be the majority of where the points go right that gives us 78 defensive awareness tackling at 80 aggression at 93 and defensive engagement at 83 now i would potentially even though you're going to be using a defensive version of the player i would potentially make this guy um i would kind of split this guy up right so that isn't that's an offensive version of him there and that's a defensive version border 97 overall but if I was going for a more complete, well-rounded player, right, 
because he doesn't have one touch pass I don't need to worry too much once I have the low pass and up over 87 88 because you're not going to be you know you're going to be playing a bit of possession with him because he's not going to be a one touch pass player right so what I would practically do um is probably ch change this down to maybe just 10 points into defense and then I would pick what way you want to defend right if you want to be more physical you can pump that up um seven aerial strength that will give you a really good physical contact which will compensate for his lack of balance when he comes together with players and when he's defending and tackling or else I would probably just turn him into even more of an engine man if you're trying to get around the pitch if you do a lot of manual defending I would pump 11 into body strength and take three off defending right but I do think as a defensive version I do think that that guy is pretty decent even though he doesn't have any defensive player skills so that is it for me lads let me know what you think of stevie g i'll be back soon with another one on torres and alonso which are both very interesting players to measure up and compare against so we will talk to you in a bit peace